So today I'm giving you a super low tech way to get tension out of your back. So a lot of people experience back pain, right? Maybe it's upper back, maybe it's lower back, but there's a whole long line of interconnected muscles and the connected tissue around that, that the responsibility of those muscles and connective tissues to hold you upright is a big job. So it's no wonder we feel tension there. And because a lot of our activities are reaching forward, sitting at the computer, sitting in the car, hunched over the kitchen sink doing dishes, there's a lot of work to do to keep yourself upright. So the tools you're gonna need today, two tennis balls, that's it. And what we're gonna do is uh, lay back on the tennis balls so that we're tracing this long line of muscles down the spine. So this is a form of myofascial release, so we're affecting both the muscle, myo, and fascia, the connective tissue. So those tennis balls are gonna go on your mat, and you don't wanna be right on the bony protrusions of your spine, but kind of along the sides there. So you're gonna come back onto the tennis balls, and low enough so that you're not up in the neck, but down kind of top of the shoulder blades area, and then, the idea is to soften and to relax. And you don't wanna push yourself down onto the tennis balls because pushing actually contracts the muscles and you're not gonna get any, uh, anywhere with the tennis balls. So you wanna soften the muscles so that you feel like the tennis balls are almost being absorbed into those muscles. So of course you want to breathe. And this may be an intense feeling and intense is okay. Just not uh, deep, deep pain or strain type of feeling. So I would stay in each spot for a good 30 to 60 seconds or even more if you have the time. And when you're ready to move, you can see, I don't know if you can see the tennis balls, you can roll your body up so that the tennis balls move down. And again, you would relax and stay here, softening, rolling again, etc. Now at some point, when you get to the low back, the low back curves away from the floor when you're laying here naturally. So you may want to then bend your knees and this tilts the pelvis backwards so that you get a little more body weight onto the tennis balls. You could even get down into the hips or even the glutes. Now, there's no really wrong way to do this. So any place you feel you put the tennis ball under, you put your body weight on top of it and relax. And when you feel a sensation and breathe into it, it's gonna start unlocking all of that dense, tense, bound up connective tissue and give you that fluidity and flexibility and relief that feels so good.